In this session, we start by ensuring we have the correct project selected. At the top, we find the project selector. Selecting a project will activate it. On the left is the browser navigation. It is broken down into three distinct sections, plans, shop drawings, and project files. Project files is where general project information is stored. As you can see, it could be photos, models, or specifications. Anything you would otherwise store on an Office server could also be stored in these folders. Shop Drawings is a dedicated space for all fabrication types of files, typically drawing sheets. And plans are where design files are stored, typically types such as sketch design, design development, and construction documentation. In this case, the mechanical folder is missing a CD folder for construction documentation. So a new one will be created using either the Add Subfolder button or on the folder menu. Folders and subfolders also have permissions to control which role, company, or individual can access this data. Note that these permissions are cascading, so that a subfolder can have its permissions controlled via a higher level folder. Starting with the mechanical folder, the engineer role is added. The permission level is then set for that name. Switching to the CD subfolder, you can see that the engineer role and permission is inherited from the parent folder. Searching for engineer again, the lead engineer user is found and added to the folder. In this case, the lead engineer will have their permission set to a slightly more restricted level. And finally, a user is able to subscribe to a folder. This ensures that the user will receive notifications when new documents are uploaded or sheets are published. This ensures the user is kept up to date with the data in the folders which is important to them. In the next session, we'll take a look at viewing files which are already uploaded.